So the new men's basketball head coach, Eric Musselman, says he needs help learning how to call the hogs. Well, he's in the right place. I'm sure he'll have lots of help this afternoon at 3 o'clock when he's officially introduced to fans. Hayden Bowgavy is live in Fayetteville with more on the big hire. Hayden, so tell us exactly what we're thinking about this decision. Well, Adam, I'll say muscle mania is starting to take over here uh, in Fayetteville. As you mentioned, Eric Musselman going to be introduced this afternoon around 3 o'clock. I think Razorback fans are excited. I think they're excited that the search is finally over almost uh, two weeks to the date after Mike Anderson was fired. He was, of course, let go after eight seasons here at Arkansas, never making it to the Sweet 16. He made the NCAA tournament three times, never once getting past the second round. So that's really going to be the first task at hand uh, for Musselman. In fact, he arrived last night around 730. He flew directly over Donald W. Reynolds Razorback Stadium, landing and then meeting and greeting his team. Of course, we got here around the same time last night. We caught up with fans to get their thoughts on the new head hog. I'm excited getting somebody new in here is going to be good. Um, I think Mike Anderson was a good coach, but I, I think you know something a little different uh, would, is going to help the program and help you know kind of spice things up. Yeah, I think it's a good hire. I mean, I saw people on Twitter saying like, uh, they weren't even they weren't sure it was even a good move for him, which makes me think like it's a good move for Arkansas because he was such a sought after coach. And if there's one thing Eric Musselman has been good at, it is making the NCAA tournament his last four seasons at Nevada. He has made the tournament three times, including a Sweet 16 appearance a couple of years ago. Also, his Wolfpack was ranked inside the top 10 earlier this year. So we know the guy can coach. He has 30 years of experience. We'll see how that translates here in Fayetteville. Adam, we'll send it back to you. So, Hayden, before you leave, I've got a question for you. When are you all thinking, you know, he had a 76% win uh, record at Nevada for four years and 62% win record when he was a, a pro coach. So uh, are we thinking that's really a positive thing for us? That's a dumb question because I know what the answer is. Well, I think you have to look at it in terms of the competition he's going to be stepping up into. He has one uh, season in the SEC. He was an assistant coach at LSU before he took the job at Nevada. His record speaks for itself out in the Mountain West. He had three regular season conference championships. He had a tournament conference championship back in 2017. So he's a winner. That's easy to see. But how is that going to translate to the SEC? We honestly have to wait and find out. But the good news is for Razorback fans, you're not going to have to wait long to find out because this guy likes to get transferred. First, he likes JUCO players. The question is, can he recruit? That's going to be a big question in the early part of his tenure here in Fayetteville. As you mentioned, his presser at 3 o'clock. We're going to hear from Coach Musselman for the first time a little bit later this afternoon. But we'll send it back to you guys in Little Rock. THV 11's Hayden Balgavy bringing us all the information. Thanks so much, Hayden. We'll be checking in with you uh, 